There are a lot of empty desk chairs at Digital Trends this morning because a bunch of lucky staffers are living it up at the annual E3 Video Game Expo. The party got started over the weekend and one of the big announcements was the return of Halo, one of the most popular titles of all time, and it's looking better than ever. Rather than being called Halo 6, as some expected, it's going to come out as Halo Infinite. And as you can see from this teaser, it looks like the Master Chief and company have been getting back to nature, but things are Brewing. Familiar icons like the Warthog and the Halo Array are on display in the trailer, and Microsoft's Xbox team leader says the new game will let you join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. So we'll just assume humanity is in trouble and needs saving. Works for us. Microsoft and 343 Studios didn't give a release date for the game, but they did say it will be coming out for the Xbox One and Windows 10. So you gaming PC builders might want to start saving for that new GPU right now. Check out our full coverage of all the big news from E3 at the link. Quick bit of car news now that we just couldn't ignore. Tesla CEO Elon Musk says the upcoming Roadster hot rod is going to get rocket engines? Okay then, Musk tweeted, and it's still not clear if it's a joke or not, that he's going to put 10 small rocket thrusters in the car to assist with top speed, braking, and cornering, and it's going to be called the SpaceX package. Bet you've never seen that on an options list before. Anyway, the $250,000 car, which is still in the design stage, is already ludicrously fast, and when Twitter user David Jenkins said that he bet the thrusters could work on compressed air, Uber engineer Musk actually responded, saying, that made sense, but that, quote, we are going to go a lot further. Uh-huh, we'll see. First, Musk needs to build a lot of Model 3s, and it looks like some people are getting tired of waiting, as Tesla has been refunding a lot of $1,000 deposits as of late. So, tease or for real tech? This is a guy who does actual rocket science, but also has a penchant for tomfoolery. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. With E3 going on, we've been taking stock of what's out there to play all those new games and some old favorites, and one trend we're seeing is the gaming-specific laptop that can take on a powerful desktop machine. The Alienware 17 is one such machine, and DT computer ace Jace Wagner put it to the test recently, and it's safe to say it gets the job done. And it should. With a new Intel i9 heartbeat, 32 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1080 GPU, it was more than capable of taking on many off-the-shelf PCs. And the big 17-inch screen features a 1440p resolution and 120Hz refresh rate, so games look great. Not so great? This bad boy weighs 10 pounds, isn't small, and burns through batteries. But for gaming on the go, it doesn't get much better than this. Check out Jason's full review at the link. And that'll do it for today. Remember that we've got full and ongoing E3 coverage going on at digitaltrends.com, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel, and sometimes all three places at once. So check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.